The universe is amazing! Today, I am going to meet the world's most famous astrophysicist. Hey, how you doing? It's great to meet you. Well, great to meet you too. You got your own show? Yeah, it's called The World According to Oscar. Yeah, that's your seat. That's my seat, I'll do that. Oh, well, this is very comfortable. I might yeah. go to sleep. <laughs> so you got stars and lights and stuff? Yeah, because I know that you're a big fan of the universe and stuff. I think many people are a fan of the universe because we all live in the universe. Are yeah. you a fan of the universe? Yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah, how could you not be, right? Yeah, because if you're not a fan, okay, then go out. Because... Right, yeah, who needs you? If you don't like the universe, then leave. <laughs> go to some other universe if you don't like this one. Yeah, go into the black hole. Oh, the black hole, but then you never come out again. Yeah. Well, they're not a fan of the universe. Why would they come back? I know. Oh, that's true. Why would they? As you fall into a black hole, it stretches you. And you get longer and longer and longer. You become just a string of atoms. Maybe that's where aliens come from. Aliens? They'd be some weird aliens if they came out of black holes. Yeah. yeah. Do you like aliens? Yeah, but um, maybe this universe isn't the only universe, that because when you go through a black hole, it might be a portal. Yeah, so some advanced theories of general relativity, Einstein's general theory of relativity, tell us that inside of a black hole, there could be a whole other universe there. And, but no one has volunteered to check. I wouldn't have thought so. Yeah, I know, I know. Because old people, they couldn't go in there. And young people, they still have a lot to live for. I know, so who would we send? Hmm. Uh, maybe a super old person. A super old person? Yeah. I see, and then they, so they might have a whole other life on the other side, but we'll never know, yeah. Yeah, you're, how old are you? I'm nine. You're nine, so a super old person, that'd be like someone who's 20, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that would be super old to me. So, what's your, do you have a favorite planet? Uh, my favorite planet is Pluto. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Because it's not a planet anymore. It's a dwarf planet. Yeah. Yeah, I had well, something to do with that, too. Some people think it's not a planet. Some people think it is a planet. Well, can, can I tell you why it's pretty much not a planet? Can I tell you? Why? Okay. So, do you know how big the moon is? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The moon has five times the mass of Pluto. Five times the mass of Pluto. There are six moons in the solar system, including our moon, that are bigger than Pluto. So you're saying that if people believe that Pluto was a planet, that would be, we would have to say moon was a planet. Exactly, and we don't, do we? Yeah. So not only that, Pluto, more than half of its volume is made of ice. Whoa, so it's, so it's just a different kind of asteroid. Well, or, or comet. Comets have a lot of ice. If you brought Pluto to where Earth is right now, heat from the sun would evaporate the ice and it would grow a tail. That's just embarrassing for a planet. That's no <laughs> yeah. kind of way for a planet to behave. So we just figured we needed to reclassify Pluto in another way. I think Pluto's happier as a dwarf planet. I didn't know it would be no gravity. I'll be like, whoa, whoa, upside down. Yeah, so how much do you weigh now? I weigh, I think I weigh eight pounds. I'm not that sure. Eight pounds? Yeah, I think so. No, you weigh more than eight pounds. Uh, 16. You weigh more than 16 pounds. Uh, 26. You weigh more than 26 pounds. 38. You weigh more than 38 pounds. Whoa. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You weigh at least 45 pounds. Oh, that's reasonable. That's what I think. So here's something, on, on one of the moons of Mars, Phobos, Phobos has two moons. You know how much you'd weigh on that moon? Because that doesn't have much gravity. Um, less than five pounds? Yeah, you'd weigh less than five pounds. You weigh as much as about three french fries. Whoa. Well, how much would three french fries weigh? Uh, less. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be three French pounds would be lighter than paper. Yes, but then how much would the paper weigh, see? So it depends on what planet you're on that determines how much you weigh. Well, since Jupiter has a, has a huge gravity, I would be sucked onto the ground. Yeah, but Jupiter doesn't have a ground because it's made of gas. So you would plunge down through until you fell deep enough so that the air would crush you to death. 
Whoa. Yeah, that would happen on Jupiter. And we're kind of doing that with the spaceship Cassini. We have a, we have a, a NASA spaceship Cassini in orbit around Saturn right now, and we've just given it a death spiral because we're done with it, and we don't want it to crash into any moon. So it is spiraling slowly closer and closer to Saturn. And then on September, in the middle of September this year, we'll plunge in and vaporize. Will it look really cool, or will it be invisible? And it might be it? visible. It might be visible with the best telescopes. We'll try to get the Hubble telescope to take a look at and it. And we can see it on TV. Yeah, yeah, it'd be really, really cool. And satisfying. Thank you for inviting me onto your show. Oh, no worries. I insist. You insisted. OK, good. And you're nine years old? Yep. Yeah, I was nine when I first discovered the universe. And I've been called by the universe ever since. It's called to me, and I just look up as I walked away. That's a good title for you. They could, you're really good at what you do about the universe. Yeah, I think both. if you spend enough time studying something, you can be good at almost anything. Think big, think big, achieve big. Yes, I agree. Well, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, too. Okay, thanks for having me as a guest. Thanks for being spicy with me, and I hope you have a good day.